Happy summer, everybody. It's going to be a scorching 90 degrees in South Florida. And I have a little cold I caught from somebody. I won't say her name, but it rhymes with racy. Alrighty. Um, a second grader in a wheelchair was separated from other kids in his class photo. What they did, they had all the kids sitting on a bench, like the bleachers, and him off to the side. Um, not only were the seven-year-old Miles' uh, parents upset, but it caused an uproar, and of course it went viral, so the, the school was upset as well. They don't think the photographer did it on purpose, however, they did redo the picture with him sitting on the bleachers instead of in his wheelchair, um, which I thought was very nice. But if you want to see both pictures, you can go to msn.com. Okay. One of the four white trash suspects in Ohio um, that held captive a mother and daughter is pleading not guilty on the charges. Um, I saw her picture. She's white trash. And who takes people's money and steals their welfare money? White trash. Anyway, Singapore's air pollution, um, it's dramatically high and it's the worst ever. This all coming from a forest fire in Indonesia. Um, Soars over skies in the city and parts of Malaysia. It's affecting businesses, especially air travel. And of course, everyone in Singapore is wearing surgical masks. Okay, a pool party in Mexico took a turn for the worse when somebody poured liquid nitrogen in the water. Um, a Jägermeister sponsored party. Um, at first the pool started to fog and then the chemicals started burning people and nine people were rushed to the hospital. One is in a coma. Jägermeister said they are aware of the incident. That's all the company stated. We don't know if Jägermeister was the one that put that in the pool or if it was a party goer at this time. Okay. Doctors say after James Gandolfini's deathly heart attack um, that middle America, middle aged Americans are suffering cardiac arrest more often because of our unhealthy lifestyles. Notice how they said Americans in that world. I gotta go to the gym too. Uh, sometimes you just gotta love Kid Rock. Uh, he's at a concert and he says that Justin Bieber... Um, is heading towards a huge fall from grace, and he's going to end up being the next Vanilla Ice. Kid Rock's got a point there. And the American Sign Language interpreter um, gets all the attention at Bonero, a music concert with our Kelly uh, Wu-Tang Clan. She killed it. She put so much enthusiasm in signing the words that her video went viral as well. And she kind of outshined Wu-Tang Clan. And Wu-Tang gave her props. And archaeologists discover a lost Mayan city in Mexican jungle. 
They found the city, um, which meant large rock, uh, in a rainforest in eastern Mexico. That's pretty cool, just finding a lost city. Maybe I belong there. So, a very glazed and giggly Justin Bieber went on Instagram and I'm telling everyone how excited he was that you can now do videos on Instagram. He looked so high, his eyes were so glazed, he was giggling after every like three words. You better be careful. And Reese Witherspoon, Miss Reese, Queen of Nice, is suing a marketing advantage. Uh, incorporation which runs a jewelry website um, amations.com claiming it exploited her name and face to sell their jewelry without her permission I guess it's good reason to sue and oh my god Kim Kardashian this is ridiculous well maybe not but all of her private belongings are currently being locked up in a vault while she lives with her mother and raises the baby until she's able to move into her new mansion. In a vault, people. Like, what about the storage companies? I thought that's good enough, but I guess not for the Kardashians. And Michael Vick, uh, his pit bull was euthanized after his number one winning streak in the dog fighting course. The dog was euthanized after a lot of wins and he was 13 years old. I don't think pit bulls should be fighting and or euthanized. Mr. Beck. Anyways. I, Carly actress Melissa Crossgrove claims uh, she was disfigured and disabled in a 2011 tour bus crash. This according to a new lawsuit that she filed. And Flavor Flav's fried chicken and ribs joint is officially closed. As they were being evicted, employees were escorted out of the building and signs posted no longer open. Landlord wins the victory. And J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez, received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame yesterday, looking gorgeous as ever. I'm surprised she didn't already have one. I thought she did. But congrats. And Paula Dean is using uh, I'm from the South excuse to justify the use of the N-word. When she grew up, um, dropping the N-word was no big deal because everyone was racist. Not anymore, sweetie. That's not a good comeback. Sorry, PD. You might not be uh, having a cooking show anymore. Reservoir Dog actor Michael Medellin has a really bad booze problem and after his DUI was sentenced to go to a live-in alcohol treatment facility. And 23... 23... Understood? 20 things you should never text. Alright? Everyone listen up because I know y'all text. You should never text fights. Body parts. A.K.A. sexting. I quit. I'm engaged. I'm pregnant. Those two because it's personal and like you should tell people face to face. It's over. Sarcasm because people can read it incorrectly. Um, mistakenly autocorrect text letters, personal information, marriage proposals, we're getting a divorce, other people's embarrassing moments, secrets, bad news, are you free Saturday night? Can't make it in today. Apologies, condolences, and number one out of the 20 things you should never text, drunk texts. Which I used to do all the time. So, good morning, good morning, good morning. Congratulations again to the heat. Oh, thank God yesterday's over. It was such a long, annoying day for me. 
I worked all day. You gotta understand, in South Florida right now, it's so hot and humid, and you just sweat and sweat no matter what. So I worked all day yesterday, busted my ass. My fault, my last table, the guy left without paying. It's a hundred dollar tab, which I paid. So I worked for free yesterday, basically, and made no money. But, again, it's my fault. You know, I should have keeping an eye on him, so. No one to blame but myself, but I'm over it because I don't need money to be funny. Alrighty, um, so yeah, and I started out nice yesterday. I talked to a bill collector to get back on my student loan payments so they don't, you know, mess with me. So I'm getting in good with Sally Mae again. <sighs> and last night I felt like I was getting a little cold and now I have the sniffles. I'm annoyed. And like I said, I do have to go back to the gym. So yesterday was my boss Elliot's birthday and my other boss Murr's 11th anniversary to his boyfriend Jeff. So happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. And um, what else do I have to tell you? It's pretty much it. But I do love the people I work with. I really do. They really do care about me. And just be nice and say hi to one another. Say hi to someone today. Hi, Merv. Hi, Elliot. Hi, Melinda Bennett Gates. Hi, Pia Hayes. Hi, Stephen Morgan. Hi, Bacellos. Hi, Mom. So the heat, the heat, the heat. We're going to close out with another Gloria Estefan song. Why not? Oh, and Joanne and Daniela, I will be doing your song for you this weekend. And also in South Florida, this weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday, is Gay Pride. So happy Gay Pride to everybody. Have a great weekend, and I will see you back here on Monday. Go Miami Heat. Upside down, down. There's the heat around. Love to hear percussion. Miami Heat. Turn it upside down. Miami Heat. Love to hear percussion. Love to hear it. Miami Heat. Bye guys. See you Monday. Congrats Miami.